Recording yourself should be just like anything else you are doing in an efficient practice session. Do it in small chunks. Don't make it elaborate and focus on details that don't matter. Don't overanalyze it. It's a big picture tool, at least in the beginning. Focusing on a small section of music is great for your progress, and so the same goes for recording yourself. I can remember feeling very overwhelmed with the idea of recording myself during a practice session and going to extremes to get a professional recording of myself, hashtag mini disc recorder. Yes, I am dating myself. I used mini disc recorders in college and all that fancy equipment probably contributed to the overwhelm. Today, most of us have an even higher quality recorder right in our pockets that is even easier to set up. The benefits of hearing yourself are instant. The moment you listen to it, you are more aware of your playing and the sound you are producing. You can overanalyze it and pick it apart if you want, but I don't think that is the best use of your time. If I had to do it over again in college, I would record myself a lot more often on shorter passages.